You know, at one point in life, a couple of years ago, I was always told, and even till this day, I was always told, your heart is rare. Like, you have a big heart. You know, there's not many people like you. And I used to always take those things with a grain of salt up until yesterday. I had a conversation with a lady for 15 minutes at work. And it all started with me helping her find something. And she just ended up just telling me her life story, all the struggles that she's been through. And at the end of it, she just said, thank you. And I asked her, I was like, why are you saying thank you? She was like, because you listened to me. There's a lot of people in the world that reached out to me and I didn't really have the time of day to help them with whatever they were going through. You know, I was always the type to give people advice on my personal life, like things and struggles that I've overcome and things that I've done to overcome those said struggles. And I just sit back and I wonder, I'm like, all these people are telling me these things, you know, like up until this day, I'm always with a smile, I'm always laughing, I'm always enjoying life, but honestly speaking, it wasn't always like that. You know, I've had my moments where I felt worthless and I just wasn't gonna amount to anything. And I just, continued trying and trying and trying and nothing was working i want to say up until like two years ago when i decided to you know like say fuck everything else and just try to change as a person i started seeing the happiness and started seeing how big my heart is and it's sometimes it's not even it's not even intentionally like i'm just that person all in all you know and i don't like to burst my own bubble but i know that I am a good person. And I know I have a really great heart. Like, you can DM me. And maybe I'll take a couple of days or maybe a couple of hours. But I will reply to you. Say if you have something that's going on with your personal life. And you're battling depression. And you're battling anxiety. Listen, I've been there. I've done that. My life hasn't always been sunshines and rainbows. I've had my dark moments and I have my light moments. A lot of people always ask me for advice on like, how do I overcome my depression? How do I overcome my anxiety? And honestly speaking, I always tell them the same thing. Find a hobby, find something that you love. Try to distract your mind, try to distract yourself. Whether it's going to work, going to school, or making YouTube videos, or whatever you decide to do for your hobby, just do it. Because slowly but surely, you're gonna overcome it, regardless of anything. But if you're one of those, how I was, that would just sit down and think about my problems day in and day out you're not gonna make any progress in your life it all starts by changing you know changing your habits your diet you know the people that you have around your life you know it it all starts with those things and progressively things will get better now let's talk about change i've been the same person for countless amount of years now I've had the same style, had the same hair, had the same everything. I was just, I, at one point in life, I was just living my life by a schedule. I would wake up, go to work, come home. Now that I have a son, things changed, but my schedule still stick to the same way. Like I'll go home, shower, get ready, go see him, come back, work. And it was literally an everyday thing. I, I just felt like a robot. And I've always said to myself, and I've always said it in YouTube videos, that a lot of changes is gonna be coming. Yes, we may not be where we wanna be because of my non-consistent self, you know, cause I, I, I could have been had 500 subs. And then this is just me talking to myself for this point. Like I could have been had 500 subs, you know, I could have been had merch out. I could have been where I wanted to be, growing and being consistent, but I decide to let certain things get in the way whether it's family problems just life in general i tend to steer youtube and things that make me happy away and i try to focus my entire energy and existence on the problems that are happening in this very moment one day i just woke up and i was just like yo it's time for change it's time for change roughly 13 years ago i decided to make a big step in my life and i know this may not be much to a lot of people but this is a lot to me because this was this was something a part of my image that people knew me for and i just had to wake up one day and just say yo it's time for change so after 13 long years of feeling like i am the same person 
every single day. I wasn't feeling attractive. Yes, I may have destiny and yes, I have a son, but all in all, sometimes you have to feel attractive for yourself. And I just felt like I wasn't it. I wasn't, I wasn't getting there and I was just, you know, depressed and, and my anxiety was just going through the roof. And I woke up one day and I was just like, you know what? I'm cutting my hair. Like I officially cut my entire hair. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to show right now because there's a little situation going up up here. Um, but it was something that needed to be done in order for me to change everything in my life. Like I'm past the kid games. I'm past these things. I'm more into the business side and looking presentable and like feeling good about myself. That's where it all starts. Feeling good about yourself. Because when you feel good about yourself, you're going to feel good about the things that you accomplish or want to accomplish or in the works of accomplishing. I told you guys a lot of things are going to be changing. And it starts with no hair. So a lot of things will be happening within this channel. I cannot promise you an upload tomorrow. I cannot promise you another video within this week because I don't know what tomorrow brings for me. I have so much things going on. My son is about to be one years old and I just, I'm loving life right now, you know? It's been a while since I, I've i said those things. Like, I love life. I've been through so much in life, so much adversity. I lost so many people, and I could finally say I'm happy.